keys, so she happily sold it to him. The children then proceeded to the man's shop, who had bought the key. In the window, there were pictures and paintings. Wilma peered into the clothes shop, but she couldn't see the man. Let's go home and get all our pocket money. We may have to buy the key back, said Chip cleverly. Mum accompanied the children to the shop. She told the entire incident to the man. The man agreed to it. Now let's see if the children find the key. Mum arrived at the shop and the children accompanied her. She explained the entire story to the shopkeeper. She asked him if the children could have the key back. Of course, replied the man. If you can find it, he smiled. You see, the shopkeeper was a painter and he had put lots of keys on his pictures. The keys too had been painted. The children very carefully looked at all the pictures, but they couldn't see their precious magic key. All the keys looked the same, grumbled Biff. Suddenly, Kipper noticed something. He stared at it for a while. He was looking at a little picture which had just one key in it. Here it is! He shrieked with delight. I'm sure this is our magic key. The children had to buy the picture. So Biff, Chip and Kipper gave their entire pocket money and paid the man off. It's a lot to pay for an old key, said Mum annoyingly. The children pulled the key from the picture, rubbed off the paint. The key had not glowed for a long, long time. Perhaps it has lost its magic powers, said Biff, picking it up and staring at it. It's been out in the rain, bent by a moor, been through a window, stuck on the painting, said Wilma. It's had a bad time, said Biff. Sadly. Do you think it will ever glow again? Asked Chip. Do you think magic will still work? Asked Kipper with tears in his eyes. I don't know, said Biff. But the key didn't glow and the magic didn't work. Kipper tried to speak to the key excitedly about the adventures he would have liked to have. But alas, there was no response from the magic key. So sad. <laughs> then, the next day, Wilf and Wilma came to the house with Nadim and Anina. The children sat around the key, sadly, and were very, very disheartened. How can we make the magic work again? asked Wilma. Anina thought of a brilliant idea. Let's remind the key of all the magic adventures, she suggested. So the children put all the little things on the table they had got from their various adventures. Now, let's go back to all the adventures and you can think of them too. A hat from the pirate adventure. A, bo a bone. From the dragon tree, skis from the village in the snow, then uh, a house from Kipper and the a horse, sorry, a horse from Kipper and the giant adventure, flipper and the treasure chest from the treasure chest adventure, three little children. From their secret room, they had met during the Broken Roof Adventure. Remember that boy, Edward, and the girl Victoria, and the little brother Will. A boat from the submarine adventure. And uh, even the boat which the boy Edward had given to Chip. And then they had swapped it with Chip giving him his watch. Remember? The dinosaur from the land of the dinosaurs. An astronaut 
from the red planet adventure so can you see all these pictures there on the table and they reminded the key of all these adventures they had after all these reminders oh my god the key still didn't glow and so at last the children gave up mom requested the children to leave means will Vilma, Anina, and Nadim, because it was getting very late too. Kipa was extremely sorry about the key and kept blaming himself for it. It's all my fault, he said, and started crying. I think the magic has run out. Finally, the children retired to bed. Biff and Chip let Kipa keep the key with him. He stared at it for a long time and finally he fell off to sleep.